roll. Why can't I do that on the box? It's a quandary. A mystery. A riddle. Okay. Got to pivot. Didn't look over my shoulder. I'm turning my head. Hi, for all. Uh, all right, weight pumping transitions works. I guess it's the same as going up and down ramp. If you're going up a ramp before you get to it, when you get to the ramp, you duck down, and as you go up it, you straighten up. That brings your weight and center of gravity up. And then when you're going down, you do the opposite. You start out high, and then you duck down. Yeah, at the peak, you duck down. And then as you get back to the bottom, you stand back up, I think it is. Keeps your center of gravity flatter. That's definitely a timing thing. It's not just a pump, pump the, with the top upper leg like I've been doing. It's kind of the whole body thing. Get it going right. And it works pretty well. The important thing though is to stay parallel to the ramp. If you keep your body like this, you go up that ramp and as you you duck down as you come up to it, you go up it, you straighten up, and you duck back down and straighten up. So you now if you duck down and stay like this with your body still upwards you stand up at the top there your center of gravity is not over your board anymore and your board's going to shoot out from under you physics man science I ran over my own toe it's all about weight transfer there's another way I could transfer a little more weight. Haha, <laughs> I know what I'm saying. You already got your lesson for the day there. Time to work on the three or one eighty. I'll tell you though, doing the transitions like that, it's a good way to get used to rolling fakey. He just doesn't scare me anymore. First couple times I did it though, I was like so off balance. This heat and humidity is taking it out of me, man. I'm not gonna be able to last too much longer. I'll give it a few more tries though. Because, you know, why not? today. At least not right now. Okay. I just don't have it right now, man. This, this heat, we're in Beaverton, Oregon. We've got a heat wave that's been rolling through. It's been over 100 degrees, around 104, 105 the last couple days. 
humidity's up. That's the worst part. Take that off. I mean, I can't. It's got a camera on. And uh, I mean, I got out here. Usually, I get out here about seven, seven fifteen, and it's 50, 55 degrees. It was already almost seventy when I got here this morning. You can, you can see it. I got a bunch of sweat on my shirt. It's running down into my eyes. Let's go. Let's see. All kinds of sweaty, gross. Oh, look how wet my hand is. Oh. Okay, so between the heat and the um my drop-ins from last week where I was talking about I hurt my knees. I I did actually pretty bad. I spent the next two days. Well, I spent the rest of that day and first most of the next day just limping around, having trouble just walking. Uh, it got it felt better during the course of the week, but I don't want to push it too much right now. That might be part of the reason my 360 or 180s aren't so good because it's like right out. Right around here is where it feels like it hurts. The side and stuff, I was like the lateral support didn't feel right. That's where I kept almost falling down. Um, and you know, last Friday after I got home. So I think that's all I'm going to do do today. That box is a couple little um, front side 180 attempts and a little lesson for you on the pump and transitions. Anyways, uh, I know it wasn't super exciting. I almost made close on that one on the box I had both my feet on just need to put back truck up oh, so close I can, I can taste it oh. but anyways before I get heat stroke I'm gonna call it a day and head home so anyway skate safe peace out support your local skate shop